Welcome to Peace on the Streets Radio Show. Oh, yeah. And I'm your host, Prince of the Sun. Ow, and your girl Mimi Mala with... Your boy and your Leva. What's Ow. up, everybody? We, you know, we got our favorite <laughs> financial planner in the house. Yeah, yay! Yeah. Rochelle <laughs> Smith! Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah. Wild out, wealthy wins to you guys yes. on Pizza on the Streets Radio Show. And we have another special guest in. We got a new intern in the house. Is what's up, like- bro? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm it's Edwin. Nice to, all right, nice to meet you, Edwin. Glad Introduce to have you yourself, in, bro. Good job, Edwin. So Edwin is with Full Sail University. Come yes. on, Edwin. Yeah. Woo. Hey. Hey. And everybody know if you at Full Sail, baby, that is a really demanding type of experience that you go oh, through what yes, impressive it is. but let me say every single person that's come here from full sail yeah on point that's right they're on determined point. eager passionate and willing to learn that's a beautiful and thing and they know what they're doing when they come in i yeah. love it yeah. appreciate okay, you and they dressed out in the i mean the peace on the streets come gear. On. Yeah. 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 he has Let's all go. his gear <laughs> doing better than me today <laughs> <laughs> So, Rochelle, Rochelle, we miss you, girl, and we're glad to have you back in the building. This is your week. What are you? Are we doing some of the things that keep us broke? What we know what? Off? I know you all had a politician in last week, so I got cut off. Oh, <laughs> and I was on live. Did y'all see me on live? No. Nobody saw me on live. I had a comment about oh, things no. that keep you broke because mm-hmm. you all talked about you know how you see on the advertisement, on the box, on the commercial, the food looks so good, the drinks look so good, but yeah. when you get home, it don't look nothing like that. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm talking about Burger King being sued. <laughs> <laughs> that's what y'all were talking about. Uh, yeah. But uh, that's one of the things that can keep, keep you, you broke. Bro. You know, you chasing what? a dream. That's like chasing a dream, right? <laughs> you be like, that. This looks good on the box. When you get home, it's like you didn't read the fine print. This is not the actual size of the shrimp. Right, 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 <laughs> They're baby right. shrimp, not big, big, large yeah. shrimp. Yeah, because I mean, they, they look that big on, on TV. Oh, yes. Yeah. You get them, man. But doesn't everything look big on TV? I'm just saying. I guess. You know, Even but, on websites but listen, as well. Listen, what about when you go by, like, look at these. You think when I open mm. this bag of chips, it's this gonna bag is going to look more like that? More empty than full. <laughs> less than, <laughs> yeah, less than full. Less than half full. full. So it, everything's a trick. It's, it's, it's like, you know what? We're yeah. but It's selling us a dream, right? Oh, Keeping nice. us broke, selling us a dream. Sending you a big old bag of air. And put <laughs> air. Exactly. Yeah. A big <laughs> bag of air. <laughs> a big <laughs> bag of air. <laughs> Let's chip. Your accent is hilarious. It is a big old bag of air. Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> you know, these fake pictures will keep, keep you broke. broke. Oh, they keep me employed though, so if oh, you yeah. need some marketing <laughs> photography, hit your boy up. And so you want you want your food to look bigger than it is. <laughs> hit, hit me up. You want your food to look better than it really is. Oh my I'm god! Your and bigger. And, and bigger. bigger. And bigger. And better. <laughs> and faster. And stronger. Okay. <laughs> you know what else will keep you broke? What's tell that? us. Tell us. So what about if you get this and you're like, this is not what I paid for. I'm getting ready to return it and you never ever return it or like when you buy something and you don't like it if it's too big if it's too small do you return it of course a lot of times some people don't immediately do you return mimi are you a good returner not at all all right well, Are you a good returner, uh, Prince? Why keep it? Uh, yeah. A little bit. No, not really. See, really? that's the problem. What? Yes, people do not return Why? things. I don't know. I don't understand. Fill me in, guys. I don't Why do you know. keep so things? So you just, just keep the time. it. They say they don't have the yeah. time. You lost the receipt. Or you don't feel online? like going back, or you forget it. That's gonna online keep you purchase, broke. I never return because I got to go through the process of getting the stamp or going back to the Absolutely. post office. You I should never do. You should because half the time they'll let you keep it for free. I, I heard, you know, I've seen things like, like that. I've done it. It's like, true. They, they let me keep a couch because I had a little cut in it this big. Oh really? At, yeah. Oh, nice. Amazon was like, oh yeah, no, uh, we'll send you a new one. Don't worry about it. I was like, what do we do with this old one? It, uh, don't Let's worry about it. it. Let's keep it. They got wow. insurance for that. So I, got start I, got, I got a whole yeah. second couch. I was like, I'm yeah. going to flip this bad boy. They got returns. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got paid twice. I got, not, not taking back those returns will keep, keep you broke. Sure they oh, said yeah. on online right now, they said, hell yeah. 
Yeah, right. They agree with me, right? Uh-huh. Right? And listen, I was going to do all this all by myself, but I thought I'd bring a big dog in to help me Woo! with a big dog. He he has 12 things poor people waste money on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, My big dog, Warren Buffett. Uh, yes, indeed. The big yeah, dog. One of the most yeah. successful investors in the world. That's he passed right. away, didn't he? No. no. Nah. He's still alive and thriving. He's a vampire. In his <laughs> little <laughs> small town going. that he walk around in where well, everybody knows his name. Yeah. yeah, everybody knows his name. So he says one of the things that will keep you poor is relying on credit cards. Um, really? Do you agree? Relying on them, yes. Relying on, not using them, but just relying on them, I guess, to pay your bills all the time. And plus, Mm -hmm. today, interest rates are high and they're probably going to go up. So if you have debt that you're carrying over from month to month Uh and you're like, why isn't my bill going down? Because all you're paying, baby, is interest. You're not paying towards the principal. So Mm -hmm. relying on credit cards, Mm -hmm. he says, is one of the things that keeps you poor. Wow. Uh. Warren Buffett. Also, he said, I know y'all not going to like this, but cheers. Let's go ahead and go hey. ahead and get these hey. cheers. Hey, 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 good job, good job. Good job. And I already said, <laughs> frequenting bars and pubs. <laughs> That's right. Literally. Oh, boy. Cheers. cheers. Yeah, I'm sorry, Warren. Sorry, Warren. I'm sure he got a, 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 a wide His own cellar. bar. Yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. sell it all. Oh, oh man. man. It's a walk-in This stuff. guy is trying to get us. He's yeah. trying to take everything away from us. Yeah. Yeah. Warren. Warren says spending on social activities like drinking at bars can add up. He said you should opt for more affordable social gatherings like at home get together. He right though. Yeah, 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 right, yeah absolutely. I mean, I, right, I, don't, because, I don't go out of bars. But we that drink much. at home too, don't yeah. we? Yeah. But see, but at a bar, at, at the house. You're going to be minimalized uh, 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 what you're going to drink at the house. But when you go to the bar, man, a couple of them drink, you can be like, keep them coming. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that you know, bottle triples in price not to mention, <laughs> you, Not to mention you start eating more and then you get appetizers and then after oh, yeah. the next one. Because yeah. I will always get food when I start drinking. It's going to so. be $100. It will be. Easy. <laughs> Easy, bro. He says that's going to keep you poor. What else is he saying is going to keep you poor? Who had a big conference and announcement? What was it, yesterday or the day before? Apple, baby. Apple, baby. He uh-huh, says let's go. over chasing the latest technology will keep you poor. Yeah. New gadgets may be tempting, but often they only last a year or two, wow. you know, yep. and some of them serve just as well as the previous model. But yep. see, that's but for the rich. Yeah. I'm still copping it, though. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. 100%. Right. So everything that this, the wealthiest investor in the world is telling 100%. us, we're going to do the opposite. Is oh, yeah. that what you're Listen, saying? The okay. the I'm man. sure he got the new one. I'm sure I'm sure his phone got, like, it's worth a million dollars. Yeah, I'm sure. It tracks, his, you know, it tracks so where he one. is with, I'm like, GPS. Of you know, it's yeah. got the life alert built yeah. right into it. If he yeah. falls, they got three paramedics that are just going to come out of the bushes. I mean, that new Oh, that new okay? iPhone looks kind of lit, though, hey, it's right? It's titanium, you know. If I'm not mistaken, it's over a grand, like a grand two hundred. I don't know. I haven't they're looked all, at the they're price. They're all around that price, but honestly, that's for, average. Yeah, it's it's average. It's got great features. I was gonna talk a about a thousand dollars for a cell phone. Easy. Ain't that something? Yep. A thousand Easy. plus. Where my car payment is cheaper. It's a my good, mortgage right, is cheaper. Wow. It's, a, it's a one-time thousand that you'll. Can keep for no, it's not. It's, you know it's payments. You're gonna do it again. It's payments it's after payments. Again payments. Again no, but, but yeah. I'm saying it's a thousand dollars, right? If you have it on front, are you paying my money? Every what is he? Every I two mean, years? Yeah, year exactly. Every two years. years. Okay. Sure. That definitely keep you broke if you try to keep up with the Joneses. Every year, don't do it. But if if but if it's like every other year, I mean, you know, you gotta do it. Like especially in in our fields where we gotta stay putting out content. Like yeah, you're gonna need a newer phone to be able to keep up, right? Yeah, right. You're, you're, you can't I be keep posting, a new Android. Yeah, you can't be posting like the old pixelated. <laughs> videos on right. Instagram. I use like, my please. cell phone yeah. and my vehicles until the wheel falls off. Like it has to turn black and shut down. Yes. And well, I still have you, the iPhone red. You are in <laughs> line with his next thing that he says keeps people poor and it's buying new cars. He mm. says that cars are notorious for their rapid depreci- depreciation. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, he recommends buying pre-owned cars and holding That's on right. to them for as long as they are reliable. That's yep, yep. really wise. I did that this time. Yeah, we're we're okay with the use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and as just, long as that's reliable, I right. think we're all okay with that. What I ended up okay. doing was to be on the safe side. I didn't go off of people because I did that last time. I didn't buy off of someone else. I bought off of like another company. I'm not gonna say the name. Yeah. But when I bought off the company, 
then they show you like the facts of the history. Of course, it takes a lot for them to take a bamboozle you than with a person. And I only had a, one, owned one one person. Nice. That didn't drink, didn't smoke, had it in the garage. Was like seventy years old. Okay. So like things like this, you could look up and then know like is the value worth it? Yeah. I paid three three twenty guys for my SUV. Nice. And I really paid four because I'm trying to beat those interests. And you know, yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to get yeah. me, but that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Like, I didn't think I'll get there. I didn't I think that was my, possible. My last SUV for fifteen years. Fifteen. Nice. Fifteen. Three hundred thousand miles. That's wow. what they're wow. for. Yeah. Yep. I mean, and it yeah. still looked good. It though. was beautiful it was nice. on the outside and inside, but baby, yes. underneath. The hood. <laughs> I couldn't I do it. Rode, I rode Lexi, honey. Lexi got <laughs> me and Lexi had a good time. Had a good I agree on the pre owns for real. Once yeah. it's off that lot, man. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, it drops it's, off. It's I ridiculous. Mean, it, it, yeah. I mean, instantly. It says, as soon as you drive off, you lose five or six thousand dollars. Thousands. Yeah. Really? Let me look, let's look at this next one. It's I know we got to go to a song, but let yeah. me look at I look at you. Pretty skin. Hey. Pretty skin. Hey. Pretty skin. Hey. Pretty, everybody here has nice skin. Hey. Thank you. Well, Warren well, Buffett you. says, over reliance on skincare products can keep you poor. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I use a bar That's of true. soap. Uh, <laughs> it's working. I use baking yeah. soda for exfoliant. Wow. Yeah. Yes, uh, I use baking soda for huh. exfoliant. But Buffett advises nice. against overusing a needlessly combining or needlessly combining skincare products. Mm. Finding a simple and effective routine can save both money and your skin. Soap, soap and water, baby. So, so much of it is just Soap and water, water baby. Soap and water. Soap and if you got the genetics. Soap. Everybody yeah. in here has yeah. nice skin. So, y'all, yeah. you know, people with bad skin going to be like, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> 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 you guys, yes. we got to get some Gerald LeBrot in. I mean, you know, every now and then I, I don't play him as much. But hey, guess what? Tonight we're going to rock with some Gerald LeBrot yes. for the first hour you all so we back on things that'll keep you broke right well according to uh warren buffett these are things that'll keep you poor he don't want us doing nothing uh he (laughs) definitely doesn't want you smoking Uh, smoking beyond its health implications is a costly habit quitting can lead to a significant boost in your personal budget now he didn't say what we were smoking. We okay. right. just said smoking. Mm. So, oh, if yeah. anybody in here smokes anything, well, I won't say that. I don't, <laughs> don't want to put anybody on. I would just say. Lord, they put a stop in that. We're going to go to a quick Because he was like, because I already, I already see them like, hey, I'm not yeah, getting ready yeah. to stop smoking. I got, I got, my do- I, all the stuff I got is my doctor told me. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my doctor. I got doctors. Doctor's prescription. notice. Yeah, prescription. Yeah. Yeah. Very yes. serious. And he didn't say anything about medicine on here. So see, I good, guess that's okay. Okay, yeah, I guess man. you're okay. Get up off the street, y'all. If your doctor <laughs> doctor gave you a note, then you're good. Yeah. Uh, oh, but what well, I mean, how much does it cost for a pack of cigarettes though for real? Like ten dollars now or something like uh, that? I think it's eight ninety nine a eight, pack. Nine dollars ten. That's I a don't lot. think I can afford it. It is a lot. a lot. I, no. I remember when it was three ninety nine a pack yes. when I was at a, a convenience store working. It was three ninety nine a pack, four thirty with tax. Oh Sounds gosh. like a long time ago. And yes, <laughs> that's an expensive habit. It yes. also kills you. That's how much gum is right now. Oh. Right, <laughs> three fifty. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I think wow. that he yeah. just—he's all yeah. about. Maybe I think Warren is just all about staying home because the other thing that's on his <laughs> list is gambling. Okay. So while gambling might seem like a shortcut to wealth, so he emphasizes the importance <laughs> of understanding the odds. He urges right, people right. to make financial decisions that favor long-term wealth. Accumulation, not momentary thrills. Yeah, when he get rid of his poker table that's in his basement, <laughs> I, to the I know he got a poker table. He must I be talking. Is he talking about casino or lottery? Like, or I, all of I it? I think the lottery is definitely something people should avoid. Okay, you know, because the lottery is something that people go and they'll go every week or every paycheck and they'll drop a certain amount of money in there. And becomes a, a like a real hardcore vice. But you don't know what they I mean? sometimes win fifty here or yeah. hundred? Well, see, my friend, of mine, y'all. yeah, but when you add up everything you spent throughout your lifetime, it's way less. I actually ran yeah, this. You, ex- you I actually paid ran, for that. Yourself. I ran these numbers <laughs> with my stepdad, right? Because he's really big into. He's an accountant, but he's really big into scratch books, right? Okay. So he'll go and like spend three hundred, five hundred dollars on on a book of scratch off tickets. Uh huh. Right. He'll, he'll, he'll buy just, the whole thing. Right, right, right. So then he'll go through them and get the winnings. And one day we actually added up how much he has. Spent in the last like 10 years 
doing that and how much he won. And he ended up having lost over $40,000. Yeah, over these last I can 10 see years. that. Yeah. Yeah. What I has he won out of it? Like, with the winnings and losings yeah. combined, he had lost, a loss 40 grand. of 40,000. I so, can see so that. So did he win like 100 here, 200? Did he win like big, lar- larger yeah, sums? Yeah. He never yeah, got he, his he money back. Several, well, I have a friend, he ran more than he lost. times, but yeah. he still lost. He played $50 tickets. In total, like when you when you base that off. Got yeah, but I got a guy. He played He played $50 tickets. 40 grand. At that moment, it's big. That's where the money is. You're like, whoa. The big ticket. You got to play the big ticket. You got to play the big ticket. But did you say the percentage of winning? That's what I'm like, forget about it. I know I'm negative. I know out. I'm yeah. negative with my you scratch offs and all that. I'm, I'm what, negative. With this dude so here, he's, he wins all the time. Yeah. I mean, there three, four times because he plays $50 I tickets. I know a girl like that. And he watches wow. the scratch off the seas uh, how many is left yeah. in that stack. I, I promise you he's losing yes. money. Yeah, if I run his numbers, no he's losing money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I no promise what? you. But, but he does he, hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah he I, does. I, 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 like, last like, week, my he won like 1900 Dude, my stepdad has won $10,000. He's won his stepdad won 10 though. Yeah. Like, at the moment, you won, 10 grand. You won but in the, in the in longevity, the long run, you yeah, lost. You lose it all. Right, yeah, so you fine. all agree with Warren Buffett on gambling? I do. The percentage is So nobody's going to play lottery here? I have never played lottery. So you're not going to the casino? In my entire life, I don't gamble. I don't gamble. I went to the casino one time. Nobody? I went to the casino one time. Time just to try it. Yeah, I guess it, it was nice. The I won machines. and I was out. Oh, was good like, for you! I won the Jaguar. I was like, bro, get you're, out of we're here! We're getting bottles tonight. Let's go. <laughs> At least he doesn't walk away. See, That's hey, fine. So, quick. so me and Prince are gonna get us a Sprinter and we're going over to Tampa, <laughs> yeah. Hard Rock, and we are gonna but have this us. This is the machine ball. I play, you guys. I play the machine that gives you five okay. or six extra chances. <laughs> it's a machine that. It, what happened is that once you put your money in, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, and after a while, it hits. And it gives you five or six free spins. I okay. smoked a good that's crack, the, bro. The I one. never smoked a bad crack. Okay. I always <laughs> smoked a good one. See, but that one works. He's but joking, no. guys. He's joking. <laughs> but that, but that one there, I always leave out a winner with that machine. Yeah. Because it, you have to have a system. If you don't know yeah. a system, you then you'll system. lose. Yeah, I have, have a system. have a system, brother. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you play that machine that gives you, that's just like putting your money in five, six times. Right, right, but right. you're getting that for free. Yo, I think it's so funny. It works, but that one I hate with you guys. Or 21. I like some ace, you know, some blackjack. I just play little poker. machines, just the just, just to say that's I the one I play. That's the fine, last but thing you gotta be smart. List. Nah, that's that's, right the, that's right the last thing. But this is what I'm gonna make this the last thing. Go ahead. Gonna, okay. Well, not really the last thing, but neglecting. We all agree with this. Neglecting personal development. Okay. According to Buffett, the best investment one can make is in oneself. Okay. Enhancing your skills and your education can boost your earning potential significantly. Huh. Knowledge and abilities are assets that no one can take away from Come you. Come on. Right. I agree with that. Yes. Yeah. We can all agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So we neglecting personal development. Warren Buffett. Good job. Yeah. We, we, we all here with two at least. All yeah. right. You got, you got two. Yeah. He got, you got yeah. two. Right. You got Who two. But you? these are the things that he says that will keep you, you bro. bro. Peace on the street. We got to get one more song in. And we're going to do some trivia questions right here on Peace on the Street Radio Ow. Show. And let's get back to some Gerald Laverne. Woo. Yes. Let's go. Come on. I'm not. Get it. Get it. Uh, let's go. Uh. Oh. How did he die? Yeah. Uh, the pills. Was it what? like heart it? or something? I don't know. Yeah, something. they said yeah. it's something. Drugs? Oh, unintentional overdose. It's right. not like Uh-oh. accidental overdose. Is this pills or drugs? Like I don't know. Well, don't I think know. it was like medications. I don't, but we don't. Really? I don't know. Well, they said that he still had a uh, stage fright. Oh. After all that about? time, he still okay. was. What's his name so again? He probably was taking Gerald medication. Levert. Gerald Levert, did you know he died this way? Uh-uh. Me neither. Yeah, I know that. That's Years crazy. ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, Later in his years, guys? <clears throat> I mean, years ago. It's been years. But so he yeah. was grown and his, and his oh, yeah. career further in. Oh, but, absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sad. Yep. Big sad. Yeah. Sad story. Yep. So what else? Well, we got we got, we got some trivia going on. Trivia. Yeah. You guys don't know. Like the trivia. And for the ones that just tapped in, it's Wild Wealthy, Wealthy Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So we have two items that we're going to buy. Okay. Item one, item two. Okay, all right. How do you decide on which item to buy? Do you choose the one that costs less? Do you choose the one that has the best benefit for you? Hmm. Or do you choose them, you compare both of them, and then decide which one to choose? The third one? Yeah. For me personally. I I would compare. Yeah. You compare the what? 
the, my options. <laughs> <laughs> my options. You compare the cost and the benefits of both, and then you make a decision. Yes, the cost, the benefits, and the so, ounces. It depends what I'm buying. Is that really true? Because if you can go to to get a Chick Fil A chicken sandwich or a Popeyes chicken sandwich, do you ch- go with the one that costs less, or do you go the one with the greatest benefit, or do you go with the one that has cost less and good benefit? I go with the one that hits my macros that day. Okay. I'm going to Chick Fil A because it's closer to where I live. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say with the greatest benefit. Okay, I mean your answer's right, <laughs> but you know in reality, Chick Fil A here I come. Right. <laughs> I love some Chick Fil A. What do we mostly do? Do we mostly go for the cheapest? All of us? Uh, no. Really? No, we no. go for what tastes well, good, yeah. like what we want. Yeah, because wow. they could be running. Because you can go to get a chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Yes. Yeah, it's not the same but it at all. Oh. Exactly. It's not the same. It's not There's yes. something about that Chick Fil A. No, it's in Chick Fil A. In Chick Fil A, that's God's chicken, more. baby. Yeah. So the majority of us do not go based on cost. I wow. went there to do the whole chicken breast and the whole eight piece of chicken mm. from Chick Fil A. Yes, sir. I, I go. I go on quantity. Like so, to feed a family, I will never take them fast food. It's it's just worth right. nothing. Yeah. No they get hungry in the next hour. Unless you I get go the, for a quantity. The piece. And, yeah, and, and and fast KFC. food, I'll tell you right now, it only lasts an hour. You get hungry again. Wendy's it, four for four. It has to be do. like yeah. heavy. They don't even have it's that no more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Heavy, you know? meal. heavy meal. Snack. With some rice. So I would go to a, I would go to a mom and pop place that actually cook the own and give you larger quantity yeah. and good quality. Absolutely. For the price of the same. Which one of the following would hurt your credit score? Closing an account that you've had for a long time, hmm. paying off student loan debt, getting married, or you don't know. Which of the following would hurt your credit score? The account. Closing the account that you've had for a long time. This is ridiculous. Paying off student loan debt or getting married. Married. Yeah. Which one would hurt your credit score? Closing it off. Married because everyone's using their credit card to get married? Married. That's a good, that's a way to put it, but I think closing it off is. Like, I think closing. Like, I don't ahead. know. I'm uneducated with finances. No, see, this more. is your has been your answer over here all day. Because you have said that three times. I'm as educated about political. I'm, I'm educated. I'm being honest. Be, no, there I'm was Edwin. Answering. That was the youngest Edwin. one in the building. You gotta get. Yeah. You, you gotta stop riding the fence, bro. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You gotta but jump. I'm, I'm gonna say here. I am gonna say the bank because I'm going to do that now. I want to close it, but I don't know if I should. But I don't want to deal with the monthly rates anymore. Closing a long held credit card, paying off student loan debt, getting married. Uh, credit card. Credit card. Yep. This will hurt your credit score. If you have a credit card and you're doing good and you've had it for 15 years, they look at part of your credit score is how long you have held an account open. How long? Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you close that, if you pay it off and close that, that's not oh, good. Man, right. that's mm. not. You can pay it off, but don't. Close it. I hate leaving it open because I have to monitor it for the rest of my life. Well, someone just, else could use you know, it. You know, every steal now it. and then, get some gas or do something so you have a little bit of activity because you don't want the, them to close it. Mm. But if you pay off an account, do not close it Damn. because they need to see how long are you a good yes. payer. But you could close bank accounts. That's no problem. Well, that's, that's not. Different. That doesn't that's go not, on your credit different. report. That's I'm different. happy to hear this. I'm yeah. about to do that. Yeah, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Right. But a but credit cr- card. Or I was loan, really yeah. Close to close the credit card. If you pay off your student loan debt, that's a good, that's a good thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, we all knew running debt. Now, I, I yeah, guess yeah, we yeah, were yeah. all a little concerned because getting married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you don't do a good planning of it, like some people, they wait to the last minute. I just want to get married and they're taking their rent money. I knew someone yeah. that took their rent money, bill money, and then guess what? They Sick. got married this month and then they asked on the street. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, you're supposed to support your wife. I love Hello. it. I mean, they took all the bill money uh, and uh, paid the, for the wedding. Apparently, the cheapest uh, regular the wedding is like $10,000. Like a funeral. Weddings are expensive. You know, they and expensive. I, I, I personally didn't spend that much. Did you all see, I, I don't know if you follow Simone Biles. She just got yeah. married. Did she? Mm-hmm. At, she went to the courthouse. Right? Her yeah. dress was $125. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Um, I forget what else. It was like under $1,000 or whatever. And it, it can was happen. Under 1000 She's a gold medalist gymnast. And she has, she's a multimillionaire. Is she? Yeah, she's yeah. a gymnast. Simone she Biles. won the, um, she's uh, uh, all five. She won Simone the USA. Biles. I don't know if they get paid that much. 
Oh man, well, they probably no matter what, the and yo, they got branding, like they got sponsors, yeah, they got investors yeah, for the rest are. of their yeah. life. Oh man, they're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. She, mm-hmm. she, yeah, she, yeah, she loaded. Oh, but wow, is that something? And she just came back and kicked butt. She did. Yeah, she did. Oh she my did. god. Yeah, because she was mad at him. She's she a did testimony. This, yeah. Since we're talking about cars, okay, this is our last one. According to car experts, which of the following provides the best value? In automobile ownership, Ooh. okay. Right. Always buying a new car and driving it only a few years. Mm. Buying a relatively new used car and driving it for a long time. Buying the cheapest used car available. Which one has the best value ordinarily? Number two. Number two. Yeah. We kind of yeah. just spoke about this. Yeah, it's gonna last you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Go one time. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Give an answer. Michelle needs it. We had to make sure. <laughs> and oh the gosh. one that's going to provide the best value for automobile ownership is buying a relatively new used car uh-huh. and driving it for a long uh-huh. time. Yeah. We just talked about that. We was all on point on that one, you I guys. I just did it. <laughs> Warren Buffett. That was the one we agreed with Warren Buffett See, on. We're so all so glad. Yeah, yeah, we, we got we're that. Like we that. got that. I decided to go with that we route because I don't want to spend so much on a car. Yeah. Yeah. So Thanks. I know we are done with the quiz and I'm almost done but I got to give mm-hmm. you all a tip okay. because I think that interest rates may go up one more time. Uh-huh. I thought oh, the Lord. last time was mm. the was it but they are making it sound like we may get like one more upward tick. Mm. That's it's already fairly high for us what now, is right? It now? So it, so for, depending on what you're getting like you go yeah. get a house it's 7 8 percent for houses it? credit wow. credit cards oh credit cards 23 24 Shut up. Yeah. i mean they're high especially if your credit's not good they are high and they you know that's a variable rate so that continues to go up if you have a home equity line of credit that is based off interest rate so that yeah. has been increasing as well which is kind which is you know is really hurting people so mm. what i'm saying is if you have debt I know interest rates are high now, and I know we're probably doing everything that we can do. But if you have debt, you really do need to see if you can pay it down as much as possible, especially things that have variable rates like credit cards. Because if you have 5000 or 2500 sitting on a credit card and you're making the minimum payment, you're going to be paying that for a long, 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 long time. The rest of your so life. That, yeah, so that's number one. Number two if interest rates go up again, it's good if you have money sitting around in the bank because they may pay you more on your money or higher yield savings. But on your debt, yeah. that's where it's not good. Uh. If you're in the market to go buy like a new car, like we're talking about, interest rates, again, Brutal. they're, they're kind of on the high side. So home prices are still fairly high in Florida. Yeah, Cars are fairly high uh-huh. and high interest rates. Do you awesome. see it dropping? Do you <laughs> think it's going to... Like, I hear a lot of <laughs> people say the, bu- out here. the bubble's going to bust and it's going to drop. Uh, I, I mean, know. so far, they want inflation to come down. Uh-huh. And and what keeps inflation going up is as long as we continue buying and spending, inflation is going to continue to rise. In but order for we? them to bring it down, they have to make it a little harder for us to borrow money, right? Yeah, right. But for some reason, they giving money I out think like- because... COVID, we, we're still outside. We're uh-huh. just still going outside, right. and we're making it happen. It's starting to pinch on us, though. It, it really, I mean, that car insurance is starting uh, to hurt. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So I think if inflation keeps going down, then they'll stop. But we may we may have one more little hike, you guys. So oh, we no. got to get rid of this debt. Yeah. Oh, get rid cards. of your debt. That's yeah. why we got to Or get the minimum of 300. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what I do. I said, cap me a three. You five? No, three. I know. I know. I, I know somebody that was going to get herself a birthday gift, which she did get, but she wasn't uh-huh. supposed to get it until December. She went ahead and got it last month because she had locked in that very low interest rate and huh. she knew she was going to get it. So she she had to go ahead Small and woman. get it nice. then as opposed to actually wait for her future. birthday. So it's right. an early huh. birthday gift, but it's not Shopping 7%. Shopping smart. Right, right. Yeah. Shopping smart. smart. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Absolutely. So make smart decisions. Sounds Woo-wee. good. How can we reach you in case we need you and uh, um, out there in the land, they might need someone that they can talk to? How can they find you? How can you reach me if you need me? <laughs> yeah, nice. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. So you can reach me Death at 407. 407- 
my what is my 407-258-1062? That's 407-258-1062. You can also go to AmesFinancialSolutions.com. A-M-E-S financialsolutions.com go ahead send me a message get on my email list look at my services you can google rochelle smith go to west2.com i mean west.com come on wokblive.com tom joiner morning show.com i mean there's a whole black voices.com there's a lot of places that you can go but i say go to aimsfinancialsolutions.com it's the quickest way that's right, All guys. right, you guys. That's our girl, Rochelle Smith. We Woo. appreciate you. Miss CPA. Right CFP. Here the- Thank you. <laughs> hey, yeah. peace on the streets. Yeah, right. CFP, certified financial planner, guys. Absolutely. She's absolutely qualified for years in the game. You want to check her out on the news because she's a beast. So don't forget, tap in every second and, and fourth, fourth Wednesday. Oh, wild Out Wealthy Wednesday. Wednesday. Woo. Right here on Peace on the Streets, you guys. Enjoy sports talk. Ow. Uh, Isaac Coleman, and let's take a look around this week in sports. Coco Golf won her first major championship this weekend with a win playing for Team USA since the 2012 Olympics. And he's recruiting stars such as Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Devin Booker, and Kyrie Irving to take part of the summer games next year in Paris. After beating Team USA, Germany went to their first ever World Cup final and then won their first ever World Cup, getting the gold medal thanks to the World Cup MVP Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder had 28 points in the team's final game against Serbia. Week one of the 104th NFL season Come has came and went. And what a week in a football it was. Yes, sir. The San Francisco 49ers, the Dallas Cowboys, the Green Bay Packers, and Los Angeles Rams Dallas. all won in blowout fashion. Dallas! The Miami Dolphins could have a historically <laughs> fast team on their hands. So a tag of threw for 466 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. This is the second time in his career he's thrown for at least 450 yards wow. and three touchdowns. Tyreek Hill, on the other hand, had 11 catches for the Dolphins, 215 yards, and two touchdown catches, including the game winner. In Monday night's highly anticipated game between the New York Jets and Buffalo Bills, four-time MVP quarterback Aaron Rodgers went down just four plays into the game with what the team fears to be a torn Achilles. It's a wrap. Number two overall pick from the 2021 draft, Zach Wilson, came in, went 14 for 21, 140 yards, a touchdown, and a pick as the Jets outlasted the Bills in overtime. Wow. Nice. Thanks to the Jets forces. Nice. Four Josh Allen turnovers. Let the Jets catch you. That's all I have for this week in sports. They went on the pole return. On the streets radio. I'm Isaac Coleman. Isaac Coleman yeah. for full sound. Yeah. 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 Boys talk, you guys. Woo. Now we have George Michael in the building. Yes, sir. We got Prince of the South. We got Edwin. We got Mimi. I'm going to just <laughs> tap in a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's going to talk. She's going to talk because we're going to talk about Dallas. some cowboys in a bit. In a bit. Oh, but, my gosh. My yeah, it's your boy, team. George Michael. I don't get it. You too? You too? You <laughs> no, a cowboys fan too? Oh. No, my dad is. Oh, oh, man, you should have brought your dad on him. He's man. a diehard. Wow. <laughs> you should bring him on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you should have him We got three fans in here. Me, you, and his dad. You as well? Yeah. George Michael, I knew I liked you. Uh, I want to talk about I want to talk about that Monday night football game because uh, Isaac brought it up with Aaron Rodgers being hmm. getting at what we first thought was an ankle injury for four plays into the game and then we find out that it is a torn Achilles and he will be oh. out for the rest of the season. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and some people he man just that's started. A, and that's that's a hard injury to come by. And yeah. it hurts to get like back crazy. Right. Yeah, just you know. Saying. So I wonder if he's going to be able to come back from that cuz it's not like he's a young guy. 39 right, years old. Right. You're yeah, right, this might be a wrap. 19 seasons. Forever? You yeah, think? it might be a wrap. I He'll mean, never be the same, huh, guys? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. No. I, th- I think because I, he, he does some crazy stuff. He does ayahuasca and he just he does some some crazy trips that he goes to South America and he just gets out in the wild for like a two week period. You know, so like he has these these all these mechanisms around him that he could just elevate from this. And mm. I feel like he will. He's that type of person that he's super positive and very mm. um 
he's very spiritual with himself hmm. as well. So I think I think he'll bounce back from it a, a whole year. Him getting um, the proper um, therapy for it, the surgery, obviously, which will probably happen either tonight or tomorrow. Most likely, he's gonna have surgery, oh, and wow. um, he's gonna have all these trainers helping him out. I think he's gonna it's gonna be good for him. Um, but to bring up his backup quarterback Zach Wilson, hmm. that a lot of people think that. Oh, we don't know if he should keep playing. Maybe we should bring in Tom Brady. Call Tom like Brady that. off of the sidelines, bring him back. Or if not, what? this other quarterback, Carson Wentz, and this and that. And, and to me, to me, it's like, okay, you're bringing in this Hall of, future Hall of Famer, Aaron Rodgers, and you got this young kid, Zach Wilson, learning from him and building his confidence to when Rodgers leaves, the next man in line is going to yeah. be yeah, Wilson. Right. right. So if you bring in another quarterback off the streets <laughs> to come and I'm be the QB1, then you're going you're to ruin this man's confidence, this Absolutely. kid's confidence, and then he's not going to want to be that type of player that he thinks that he's mm. going to be. So in my opinion, I don't think they should bring anybody. Let this kid take the team. If they do bad, it is what it is. You know, this is not what you anticipated. You didn't think your star quarterback was going to be out for the rest of the year after four plays in the in, in week one. So might as well go with the backup QB who's going to be learning from the future Hall of Famer on the sidelines. Yeah, and he did a good job to me. Yeah, he, he bought in a win. Yep. Yes, he did. 14 yeah. for 21, like Isaac said, 104 yards and a touchdown. He was out there game managing, and oh, he looked good. He looked yeah, he good. Did. Yeah, I, I enjoyed to see him out there playing. <laughs> so he's doing it quite well. Why would you bring somebody else in? But I hear you on that. Um, I, I thought that's what it's supposed to be set up for. The well, they want now. Line. Everything is now. now. We want yeah. now gratification. Yeah. We want a now quarterback. Somebody right. We're trying to win now. But hmm. they still got to learn your system. So that's what I'm saying. Like, he plays with them. He knows them. He knows, like, it, there's, like there's a communication there. It's Ain't no love in the game, girl. Ain't no love in the game. It's all business. <laughs> they said Brady business. was in the city that they are in, and they're saying there's a reason why he's there. Yeah, and could so be. I, I saw him practicing with his son. By the way, he's a he's a real beast and as an athlete. They all are. When you when you play anything, you're a beast. If you yeah. made it to NFL, NBA, MLB, you're an athlete. Period. Right? You could dip into anything. Well, I you believe. know, he's been a help coaching. Uh, Basketball. No, uh, uh, no, Deion Sanders' son. Yeah, for, sure. for, for, he's yeah. training his apparently, but I'm, I was just watched the footage, the home footage that he did. He's he's a handsome man. I'm just I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he, he was, got too much Botox. He was, he's he's oh, no. gorgeous looking, but he was getting all the shots like an NBA player. He didn't miss one single shot. His son, the same thing. His son's a prodigy of an athlete. He's yeah, gonna, he's gonna sure, do something sure. large. They're cute kids. God bless them. So, Tom Brady, if you're watching. Hey. <laughs> oh Come gosh. on the show, Brady. Come to Orlando. Call, call, the, call the Jets. Call, call the Jets. Call the Jets. Yo, tag him. Tag him. <laughs> well, you, know, hey, you know I'm a big Tom Brady fan. You know, That's New, a good looking New, man. New England, you know. So would you want him to go and play for the Jets, or would you want him just to stay in retirement? Well, do what's happy. Because look at this thing. When it's really over, it's over. So, hey, if you still can play and you still got it, you feel like you want to play, why not? He's going to break, like, the mold, like the history books. Yeah, well, if he already come did back, it. like, it's gonna be hard for people. No, to, if he comes back and wins, I've never because seen because the, like Jets, yeah. the Jets are literally a Super Bowl contender. If yeah. they have a quarterback that will go out there and get them, yeah, that's what they need. Wins because yeah. their defense is phenomenal. Oh, man. They yeah. The weapons they have on offense are great, is immaculate, and all they need is a quarterback. Yeah. And that's why they brought in Aaron Rodgers. But obviously, he went down. So if you bring in another Stinks. future Hall of Famer like Tom Brady. <laughs> I think I think they could be up there for yeah. sure. For so sure. you know they're talking. Yeah. And Tom don't like to quit. So you know he still wants to At play. all. Because he's still been working out, but he's been working out. I with know, them. I just seen the footage. I'm just saying. Well, him and Deion Sanders' son, they said that's why he's so good in Colorado. Come on. Because he's been training with uh, Tom Brady. Yep. Wow. yep. And yep. and speaking of that, Deion Sanders is the hottest coach in college football yeah, right now. Come on, what a story. Deion, go Dallas. What a story. <laughs> What a story. <laughs> a lot of people got to eat words because, you know, he left a, a, yeah, a black college and he wound up going to Colorado. You know, and they said that was a white college. But now, I Is mean, they really start they're winning. Like, focusing on? It's yeah, ridiculous. Yes. But mm. now they say he's recruiting next year. 
Everybody wants to go over there. Yep. Look yep. at that. They already have a star, a cornerback that wants to go over there already. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And so they only two that. games in. Uh, yeah. Again, go Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about Dallas. Oh, good things. Talking about Dallas, Dallas though. Yeah. I know you saw the game on Sunday. I know you saw the game on Sunday. Son, I, I know you saw the game too. It, I don't watch it. Was it was the best game ever. <laughs> well, your dad did. Yeah, he, I know he did. I, I, first of all, I, I don't even think I ever seen the Giants get nothing, nothing, zero, nada. Zip. Them. Nothing. Zip. Forty to zero. To nothing. It Ladies wasn't a game. Where, where were they? What 40 happened? Forty to zero. Why? The first quarter, it was just mayhem yeah. for their offense. It I was, was it was raining. I'll give them that little excuse, you know. Uh, y'all playing Come in on, the we're rain. playing the snow, son. Yeah. It, but but <laughs> what I'm saying is the weather does affect a hundred percent. Yeah, of but sixteen zero in the first quarter, seven in the next quarter. So twenty six. 24, 26, whatever the math is right there. Yeah. Going into halftime, and then they come out at halftime, and they still dominate. Not, 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 I, so, you know, I'm very goal. disappointed in, in New York. They stink. Because, I mean, they got a great running back. But, they, you know what I'm they saying? They stink, Prince. Like if you they, can't get a field goal, you um, stink. I mean, you know, they didn't get better at all. <laughs> they didn't add to their roster at all over the preseason. It, from it, what it, I saw. It, it, well, they it, added Darren Waller, a tight end, but he, he yeah. has a hamstring injury right now for he for receivers in the league or, no, just receivers in general, oh, the wow. league, high school, um, Pop wow. Warner, whatever it is. When you have a hamstring injury, it's Oof. really bad because it, it, you can't be super explosive coming off the line. You yeah. can't run as fast. No. And you just feel a tightness in the back of your leg imagine. like if it's pulling like a rope. I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I bet that's injury. that's affecting him right now for sure. Yeah. But there's no reason for them to lose 40-0 to zero zero. Yeah. at home. Nothing. Against right. a division opponent <laughs> when you know a, a good amount of their place. Because you're yeah. a division opponent. You play them two times a year right. every single year. Exactly. So you know a good amount of their plays and what their coaches like to do and what the team likes yep. to do in their yep. schemes. There's no reason why and they lost 40-0. you know New York zero. would boo them. I knew Oh, yeah, New York yeah. yeah. No, going into, no, going into halftime, that's all you heard. Did that's you? all you heard, yeah. They stink. The New York would tell you what's up. They'll, yeah. they'll yell yeah. at you, throw things at you. Yeah, they really will. <laughs> they're they like, really there's will. like Philly yeah. and Boston. Like the even same way. at a Knicks game. Yeah, they're they're, they're ruthless. Yeah. Yeah, they're talking <laughs> about you. The only, the only team they ever love was the Yankees because yeah. they want so much. But right. they're, they're ruthless. Hey, but, but I'm just saying, if they lose a lot there, they'll start they'll booing booing you, in. They'll yeah. throw things. Yeah. They'll, they'll talk to around. you rough. Yeah. And they say it's hard. The media is very hard on you when you are playing with the Knicks, the Giants, and the Yankees, they say, man, the fans are ruthless, and the media don't play around. I've been in the crowd. It's, you know, it can so. get very tough. <laughs> Just like Philly fans. Philly fans are crazy. The worst yeah. I've seen being in the stadium is Boston and Philly. Okay. They, they're worse than us. They, they're uh, I'm from New York, so they're, they're smart, Alex. Okay. They like mm-hmm. to fight. They like to stand up, throw things at you, oh my God. and they're waiting for no, you to yeah. do something. They, they yeah. Truly do. Oh, it's like we don't do, do nothing. Yeah, yeah. I've heard yeah. stories of other fans going to like an Eagles game. For That's example. what they do. Boston will come to us and and, 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 and if you're cheering for the other team, uh, they will literally throw stuff at you. They will. They'll try to fight. I you. had popcorn <laughs> thrown at me, guys. I've had it oh all, and this is Boston. <laughs> yeah, and, but you know, I laugh. And then I make them laugh because I'm like, you guys are out of hand. I'll start laughing at it, and then they'll start laughing too. Yeah. But I'm a woman. Like, what are you guys doing? Right. You know what I mean? But that's, they, don't they don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about that defense really quick, though, oh, yeah. because our defense was looking crazy. We had seven sacks, ten mm-hmm. tackles for loss. We had two interceptions. One was a pick six. It was just crazy out there. The, the way that we were playing is just the one thing that I'm and still And we in concerned. Dallas, by the way. The, yes, yes, the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> the one thing I'm still concerned about, though, is the offense because Zach, uh, Dak had opportunities to score with his uh, offensive weapons and his new weapon that he got right now, uh, Brandon Cooks, that came over from uh, the Houston Texans. And he didn't throw one touchdown. He huh. didn't throw one touchdown when in a game was 40-0 when your opponent is literally depleted by halftime. So I'm still concerned on that part yeah. because if we were playing a team that actually came to play yeah. and was out there firing on all cylinders and giving us a game, yep. I wonder how Dak would have played in there. Right. He's fired. 
<laughs> Drop millions, em. millions for this? Oh this man, guys get paid millions. Oh, man, big time. That's what. Like, I'm sorry, you, you can't, you can't contract. stink when you get paid millions. You just yeah. can't. Yeah. You know, you gotta get a score. I've never, haven't seen this in a long time. What is that? It's not an arena, but it's a large venue. Right. And they were all in separate corners. They had shirts on, and what they did was they stood up and screamed. They. Th- Threw things, they called out things, and what they were protesting for was for climate change. Okay. At a tennis match? At a tennis match. Okay. Because they are... Okay. Because <laughs> because let's let's keep it real. United States government is doesn't care. Right. And we all know this. And we're literally melting and dying right now. That right. it's been the hottest in the country. Oh, my goodness. Ever. Boy, it was hot. In the world. This week. Ever. And it's not just Florida. <laughs> it's other states that are capacity of the highest... In climate ever, guys. You know yeah. this. Because we hit 106 and 10 for two or three weeks straight, and we never reached no, that in Florida. No, like 96, 97, 98. But, but with the humidity, is, I, I, legitly, it was 106, 110. Yeah, I And feel that's it. what got us to the highest. So what I'm, what they're saying is that the government's not no, not caring, so they protested so hardcore at one of the largest events to get recognized. Nice. It stopped for 45 mm. minutes was the longest ever they had to stop at a tennis match. Wow. And they took them out, but it took so long because one guy glued himself to the seat. Oh, my oh. God. And they couldn't take him out. Wow. And, and I was That's watching crazy. this. Yeah, I was like, wow, these these guys are, look like between the ages of 27 to 30-something. They really down for the They're calls. They really down. So apparently- must have hurt when he got up. Well, apparently- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because they, they seem to be calm with themselves, though. They uh-huh. didn't like attack anyone. But at the end of the match, um, it ended up to work because there's a lot of people now, the celebrities that mm-hmm. are going to them and trying to see if they could donate and help with the cause of climate change because mm-hmm. our government is not doing anything nah, about it. That's so awesome. that, when does the government do anything? Uh, typically, they go against everything we say. You know what right. I mean? Even though the facts is there, scientists know what's up. Yeah. They're like, ah, screw it. Right. Money goes right. somewhere else. But we're dying. Right. Hey. Speaking <laughs> of climate change, For didn't real. it snow in California? Or it, yeah. It, it did. It was it's, crazy. The, there's a huge hurricane that's category six. That's the largest they've seen, like almost ever. That was heading our way. Hopefully, it won't be here. Yeah, but it looked like it's gonna miss us. Yeah, it looks like it's going. It looked like it might miss us. That's you know. just just proven fact. We all, guys, you already know that climate change is here and, and things are happening, and it's, it's it's not gonna affect us. We're gonna be dead by then, but it's gonna affect our kids' kids. Yeah, and maybe even our kids are gonna see some of it. Wow. Did you just see the the ocean? And it is a part of the ocean that has the largest amount of plastic that's the size of an island. Wow. And that's crazy. And if you if Google it, guys, Google this, real talk, Google this. If you see the large masses of, of plastic, uh-huh. you're going to cry. Yeah. You're going to be like, because it doesn't disintegrate. That's right. It doesn't, it doesn't break down. Break down. No, it doesn't. It's the size of an island that you're like, I can't believe we're doing this and we did it. That yes. they, It's almost too late. They're saying it's almost too late to clean that up because they can't really... Clean it up. It's that many bottle water. It's that much because you know once it goes on the ground, it goes back up. How do you, how do you clean that up though? That's the thing. The is the ocean so deep? There's really nothing much they can do. That's right. You know, they and they've been dumping for so long. So long. It's just that there's a part of the hemisphere in the ocean. I'm gonna find this out when I come back on air next Wednesday. But there's a part of the hemisphere and and the ocean to where the the waves and the wind reaches that is collecting it all in one section Man. of the ocean. Okay. And it's mm. expanding, becoming like an island. Uh, uh, and so uh. all trash the trash island. is going there. Yeah. That's what the trash, trash island. Uh, if you guys see this, you you have tears in your eyes because wow. it's like. Well, they've been fighting this for a while. Yeah. And now it's just getting worse because they've been fighting this like seven to eight years Scientists ago. Scientists have been or telling even us, longer, man. you know. They was like, man, we got to do something with these water bottles. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're still selling the plastic. The only way to make a change is that the whole world has to change. Oh, yeah. It can't just be America. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to stop selling plastic. Everybody. Everyone's yes. got to eat But that, we can't, like, That's we can't not going to happen. They're trying to get the world on the same agenda, but it has to take a country. Yeah. You know, to come together on it, to, to talk to these guys. Well, you but, know, now they're using some bottle. They're using water in... Uh, um, Glass bottles. N- no, they're using uh, like uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you talking about like metal? No, they, they're in, in like a box. They put it in a box now. Oh, like the box water and stuff. Uh-huh. I know what yeah. you're talking. Oh about. no, I never heard of this. Yes, mm-hmm. and yeah, the water's good too. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy the box water. So they saying that might be a better thing because the only thing that's plastic on it is the head on it. And this is the part. No matter what we're trying to, the government is trying to do or not, guys, just be mindful of what you're buying yourself. Yeah. Try to stay away from the plastic bottles of water. I have a regular, you know, like a 
b- glass, you know, that I pour my water in instead of carrying around plastic bottles of water. So just be mindful when you buy these things because you're helping the industry. Yeah. Right. yeah. Anything else, my man? Oh, uh, no. I, I mean, I, I was going to bring up the Dolphins like Isaac. Uh, Do the, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. Tua, Tua, honestly, if you're into fantasy football, he was the best quarterback out there. And mm. even just in general for the NFL, week one, he was the best quarterback out there playing 466 yards, three uh, touchdowns, two of them to Tyreek Hill, and he threw one pick, but – yeah, it was kind of like an iffy pick, but he was out there playing so confident, and the way that he throws the ball is super accurate. Uh-huh. And like I'm not, I'm not a big time Dolphins fans, but a lot of my friends and families are, and, yeah. and it's it's good to see that they're on trajectory to being either a playoff team or even nice. be in the Super Bowl contention talk. Go nice. ahead, Dolphins. Go yeah. ahead, you Miami. Guys. Where you been for years, they man? They just need Jalen Ramsey to come back. Yeah. Yeah. I need Jalen Ramsey to come back. Yeah. How about that defense? I know. <laughs> we got to get a couple of songs in, And those Miami guys. fans are the, the fans to the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, Miami? Yeah. Yeah. oh man, they love. They, they don't care if they stink. They're yeah. still fans. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, they really do. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So we appreciate you sports talk with George Michael in the building. Yeah. Peace on the Guys, street. don't leave because we're going to start a new Gossip Drop coming up next. Hey. Ow! Okay. Yeah, that's right, you guys. So this is Gossip Talk, guys. This is where we get to talk about what's going on, the highlights, whatever we feel is going on in the VMAs. Hey. We got Edwin in the building for hey. Full hey. Sail. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Hey. Express to us what happened in the VMAs. Okay, so I wrote it all down because it was a lot that went on that A night. lot. It okay. Was, Prince, did you watch it? When was it? Uh-uh. It was Last yesterday. night. Yes, at eight o'clock. Yeah, eight, eight, yeah. Okay, (laughs) you're taking my thunder. I know. (laughs) No, no, I was thinking, I was thinking like seven because seven central, but I was like, yeah, it is eight. It's eight this time. (laughs) Okay, so we can start out with the red carpet look. So first we had Doja Cat. She pulled up in like this spidery, like web type of look with this blonde cut. It was a pretty good look, and it, it's kind of on brand. She's releasing an album called Scarlet, and it's a spider on top, so I guess she was mm. trying to be promoting. on theme. Yeah, mm. promoting her album. I don't really know the meaning behind it, but it looked pretty good to me. Yeah. So, yeah. She's yeah. a sex appeal. She's always got a meaning to her like story. By the mm. way, like her whole thing coming out now is horror. That's mm. why she's doing a lot of this horror things. Like There's a track called Demons. A lot of people are mm. not feeling that. They think it's some Satanism going yeah, they on. They think that we she's a part of the uh, yeah, yeah, Illuminati yeah, yeah. and stuff. I don't want to take away from Edna. Keep going, Edna. No, Come you on. Did. You're all right. <laughs> okay, so the next one we had Megan Thee Stallion. She was in like a black vintage Hollywood type of look with like a peel back type of hairstyle. I don't yeah. know what you call that, but she looked really good. Um, we had Nicki Minaj. She had a like a Barbie wedding dress with like a wedding veil. Yeah. So I guess she was. She's the host. Homage. Right. Yeah. She was the host. And I think she was paying homage to Barbie. If you know Nicki Minaj, she Makes sense. She, she loves, loves Barbie. Barbie. You're right. The yeah. Barbie's her theme. So it was on brand. So then we had Lil Nas X. He pulled up in like a mm. Catholic church lady thing. And I honestly, I, I loved it. it. I loved it. Honestly, I like that Lil Nas X. He's not afraid to at wear all. something crazy. You know, I love it. At all. Um. So for the last, for the looks that really stuck out to me was Chloe and Halle. So hmm. Chloe, she popped up in like a jean sequin type of dress and then Hallie pulled up in like an orange spring sundress it was very beautiful they looked stunning wow yeah they yeah. they all like um Megan Stallion Nicki Minaj and Cardi B yeah they did come out half naked like they do <laughs> that's what they do <laughs> and, and, and they shake their butts and they do the whole twerk thing is that all they do Oh, they do. But the only thing I want to say is that um a big shout to Shakira by the way because Shakira won the Ven uh, video Vanguard Award. Vanguard Award. Was it yes. Jimmy Butler with her? Who's that? That's her, her oh, ex, right? Yes. You know, oh, you didn't, oh. You didn't the, see that they were dating. He, he's a Miami Heat player. Well, there was a guy there that was watching her kids. So she, what I'm saying is that she had her two kids um, in the front. They, they got a special seat. But they had a special seat to where all the artists are right around them and performing. And I can't imagine having my kids, like 11-year-olds, watching Nicki Minaj. Oh, my God. And watching Cardi B oh and, and Megan half naked. And literally, they touch their butt and they shake it. Like, and I, I can't imagine my kids. It's straight strippers. And, but let me say this. <laughs> that's that's, that's exactly what okay. it is. That's Cardi, B, Cardi B was one, though. That's a, Yeah, she was. Right. I, I like her, though. I, I mean, I, it doesn't matter if or not. I, I just like her character. But what I'm just saying is that, and I think she's beautiful. But anyway, what I'm going to get back to the story is that <laughs> I, I think there's a certain time and place for things. Right. Mm-hmm. And I don't think... You always have to do that. And, okay. and, and it, do, it shows the young people that that's the way to make it. And the boys are sitting there, and even Shakira, and she's a sex appeal. 
and she she's, she's a beast. She dances better than them, but she doesn't twerk, and that makes it impressive. Right. You know what I mean? And, but even she, I could see, from what I see her perform, I felt like she toned it down just a little and had clothes on, a see-through, but just a little I felt. And I, I truly believe it's because it's a family affair and a family yeah, event there. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, I mean, I'm, but what happened is that they fans come to see that. And so I think they just probably cater to their fans all right. yeah. That's what it is. Right. They cater to their fans because right. they're it's so their happy to be there. Their sex appeal is what really, what really sells. Bump that. I say if you're going to be at a certain time and place, I think there's a certain way to conduct yourself in certain situations. But, but they probably don't, don't even know how to act. In I, a, in, I, I in never really see them fully clothed uh, except for her but, hosting. But I will say these celebrities are not supposed to be your kids' role models. I will they're say not. that. The, I, I, I think agree. people kind of put that in like, what about the kids? It's like. You should be having your kid like not watch. Now this. watch at that time they're, of night. They're growing. You should be sleeping. the role model for right. your kid. For your you kid. Should but be. Edwin, right. it doesn't right. matter. I don't care what you say. When you're in the limelight, <laughs> you're going to be that. You the can't kids take are it. Watch you, man. you can't just I, accept half of it and not accept the rest. That's what's gonna happen when you're in, in the lifestyle. Yeah, when even you're up with there. athletes, it's yeah. the same yeah. thing too. So That's it's true. it's. Yeah. It's a certain image that you, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and that is a sex appeal. I get that. I don't know. There's just some surveys. I, I was a little. And the tongue looking at. Ah, I was, she did that. I, mean, I get a little embarrassed and I cringe <laughs> when I see certain situations in certain I places. You know? I, mean, I hate the I'm finger. Like, go, go crazy. When I see Live girls your life. give the finger. Uh, it just it just looks so raunchy to me. It's teaching like a lot of these young young, young rappers do the same thing. You got like sexy Ray and all these like. They, <laughs> I love sexy. They, they look they look like they're straight from the street and nothing was given like they was not cultured in at all. Right. And it looks like they're just like they they even look a little ridiculous at how the way they dress. They're not even formed well as a woman because they're so young. But when I watch this, I, I, I cringe because they're looking at Megan and Cardi and that's where they're trying to get at. And that's yeah, where they're at. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what else you got for us, my man? Okay, so um, let's go to the performances. So to open up the show, we had Lil Wayne. He started out, um, he opened up with Uproar, which is from yes. his 2018 album, The Carter Five. And he ate it up. He gave, like, enthusiasm, stage presence, everything. Yes. And he did a little mashup of Back That Ass Up. If you yes. know, he did that drop it like it's hot. No drop, limit, drop baby. Like hot. Yeah. yeah, he ate that up. He He's did a really goat. Good. I hope he gets the next nope. Vanguard yeah. or something because yeah. they're sleeping on him in this this year's of generation. Right. He's a goat. He is. He's one he of the is. few that can actually freestyle without writing. Right. Still to this day. Right. Yeah, but I loved his old stuff, you know. No uh, doubt. Uh, the cop. He just has a main wee, lead, so new. Wee, wee. <laughs> I love that song. That's a good song. That is a great That's song. That's a hot video, too. That's a very Oh, that video was hard. It's sexy. Uh, man. The, the, the drought uh, mixtapes, one, two, three. Those were. Mm. Yeah. Right. And no ceilings. Sweet. Yeah. He's well, I just don't like the way Lil Ma- Wayne to mess his face up and body up. I mean, I mean, you know. You know, I feel like his tattoos so and stuff. Too much. Uh, but don't get it twisted. Sir. He, yeah, <laughs> I was just, I was just about to say, don't get it twisted. He sleeps on that lean, what we call lean. Oh, yeah. Uh, in New York, that, oh, he stay on lean. Oh, that's why oh, he yeah. got the seizures and mm-hmm. everything. So young. God bless his yeah. soul. Same thing with Rick Ross. Why you think he stopped doing it and he changed his lifestyle and stopped eating the way he was? Oh. Right. Because he went through seizures as well. Isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. Why would you put yourself through that? I will say, it's kind of tough for celebrities. Like, you kind of, and I know it's like, you know what you're signing up for, right? Yeah. But then it's like, you go into this limelight and it's like, especially today for superstars, it's really like, if you don't do something somebody likes, they're going to go on the internet and harass you. They will. And you're going to see it. And it's like, okay, so the thing about the internet is you can see something negative, and even if you scroll and you're like, I'm not paying attention to that, it's going to stay in your mind. Yeah, it it's going to stay at the front. Yeah, yeah. It will. And it's like, that's kind of tough for celebrities to see all those it negative is. comments It stinks. And stuff. Yeah, it can That's like why they really go into depression, anxiety. Drugs. It, it truly, and, yeah. Yeah. I hear right now. I, I, even Cardi B says she stopped talking, uh, going on it like that because I can't imagine people. Yeah, don't talk. read the comments. Yeah. yeah. Read the comments. That's hurtful. Yeah. We, we're starting to get that now on Peace on the Street. Is this sort of talk about us? Did yeah. you guys see our YouTube? <laughs> this sort of talk about yeah. us. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm like, no, Prince, we made it. Oh, yeah, that's how you know talking. you made it when people talk. They stuff. dissing us, y'all. That's they when are. you know you made it. That's when you know you made it. That's so true. And then, yes. I be laughing when people write in my comments and like my TikTok now. videos yeah. and stuff. I be laughing. Uh, we, yeah. sh- we show our production Enyo, and he's like, "There they go talking about us again." Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh my gosh. You know you hey, it. you guys, we just here for we made entertainment. It. We, we truly made it. Oh my gosh. What else you got, Edwin? Okay. <laughs> So uh, for the next performance, we had Megan and Cardi B. They performed uh, their newly released hit, Bongos. And that just released last Friday, if I'm not mistaken. It did. Yes. 
And Bongos, the performance itself was really amazing. It was like all the background dancers were on theme playing bongos and yeah, everything. They it was really it. cool. They yes. did. And they wore like Tina Turner like esque outfits. It was very cool to see like Tina Turner get that type of um what's the word I'm looking for? Get that type of like recognition. Yes, that type of recognition. Yeah. It was it was very the cool. The only thing I think that Cardi B should have did more is that she had the drums, but she had it like the African style. Mm-hmm. Cardi B, you're Dominicana. You should have had the Latin style. You should have had the, like, the little David. bongo and the leg. Like, just, she didn't bring the Latin. Who bought it was Shakira and, you know, mm-hmm. um, and also, um, is it Becky G? Is that her name? And you talking about Becky G. Anita, yeah, Becky G. Carol G. Those guys only speak Spanish, really, but they, they carry the Latin and they were allowed to right. perform. So it was like a Latin night. It was beautiful right. if, you, if you missed it. Yeah. But I thought that she should have bought a little bit of the Latin. Yeah. I just Mondeira. wish like, It's called Bongo. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched this YouTube reactor. His name is Zach Campbell and like he always does music reactions and he was like, mm. I love the song. It brings like a Latin vibe. So he was like, I wish it would have had like Anita or something to really take it Come on. globally or something like that. Come on. So it was like, yeah. It was, I agree. I agree. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so now we're going to get into Doja Cat's performance. Ah. This is a little controversial, y'all. Okay, so first she she Love did a medley it. of, what was the first song? She did Attention, and then she did Paint yep. the Town Red, yes. and then she did Demons. Yes. And she was dressed in like um like a businesswoman casual fit because people often say, oh, Doja Cat's selling her body. She's gaining for popularity. She's a demon. She's this. Hmm. And most artists kind of like try to debunk those rumors, but it's like this era – I feel like she's specifically playing into that, which is like what demons and attention and Painted Town Red is about. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I guess I am a demon. I guess I am the bad guy. I guess I'm this. Exactly you know? what she's saying in her lyrics. Right. And so, right. Uh, if you don't listen to the lyrics, you'll think that it's yeah, more it's like demonic, yeah, or satanic. Because, yeah. like I said, like Sam Smith, like he kind of went left on that and started speaking things like that and actually doing things uh, mm-hmm. of, with the devil, with the horns and a, and a pitchfork. And yeah, all I've that. seen like performances yeah. on like. Like the weekend that he literally came out with the devil in the back. Like, That's oh, another but, one. Yeah, Sheesh. Yeah. Listen, guys, yeah. <laughs> when you see them perform and what you see them saying, that's what they're telling you. Don't be foolish. Don't take it as a facade or it's just a gimmick. They're telling you what's up and they're showing you what's up. Oh, yeah. So that's those messages that are like it's subliminal but yet in your face. Yes. So they said the same thing with her. If you yeah. hear the lyrics, it's mostly her speaking about horror. So I looked more further into it and she yeah. seems to be like a horror chick that loves horror. Mm-hmm. So wow. she's bringing back horror. And if you watch her music videos, it's got Christina Ricci in it, R- R- Ricey, or I think that's her last name. You know who Christina Ricci is, the one yeah. that played Wednesday. Yeah, I know exactly who she and is. she's now in um that Netflix show, Yellow Jackets, is it called, or something like that, that she's a beast. She's a, a well-known actress. She's in her video. Mm. And it's more of horror. So mm. she, that's what she's Dark. bringing to the table. Yeah. yeah, I'm a horror chick, too. And I am really, uh, and I believe in God. So I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love horror movies. <laughs> I, 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 that's all I watch. It's horror. So my mother used to always tell me to watch that outside. <laughs> but yep, I used that's to, my favorite. But one, one, thing, one, thing comes is one, <laughs> one thing is watching all of that, and another thing is being literally about that. Yeah, being about yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 I just like a scare. Nothing scares me, I wish. But I just like watch it. But that's what it's all about. Yeah. She's just a, she's like bringing the horror back. She's the makeup. The she's got the money. She got the fundings, and, yeah. and she's killing it. So, so that's, yeah. that's what you guys are taking coming back. Yeah. Out. So that's what it really is. When you they hear the song "Demons," I was like, "Oh, another one. Here we go." Yeah, I don't yeah. listen to all that. Uh, it was yeah, mostly speaking about like what they could do to you. What the industry can like. She's yeah. speaking real talk there, and she's a beast. She could spit yeah. and sing. But in your yes. opinions, yeah. because you. you to me, you guys seem like you have like a no- lot of knowledge about it. What do you think? You think it's just a facade or you think it's like she's actually in it? I think she's just trying to give a message personally. But I mean, I mean, it's possible. I mean, the industry, people are dark. So, I mean, it's possible. I don't know. Absolutely. But, it is yeah. possible because for a while I didn't believe that Satanism was like that hardcore in entertainment in Hollywood. I kind of was like, no way. It can't be. But impossible. No, even but in the world, it's hardcore. People. People in the world getting yeah. invested in broadcasting more and actually being on the scene of celebrities and people and and, and finding out a lot of these things. I found out a lot in Atlanta, Georgia, guys. By the way, when I won the award mm. for best radio personality, when I was out there, I found out a lot. Oh, people are dark. And this people and the industry is that it is mm-hmm. it is dark. It, it is a lot of Satanism. Don't get it twisted. Why do you yeah. think a lot of this molestation and and rape yeah. occurs? It's and, dark stuff. And then they make the they have the industry and the hip hoppers. Uh, predominantly speaking a certain way, you must say the word N, you must say gangster, you must say drugs, you must say, they, 
That's paying what these guys no, yeah, to they're, say they're these things. Yeah, agenda, and, and, so it don't. It's not a facade. It, this is what's happening. And some of them are talking, and some of them are getting booted out, uh, kicked out. You know, mm-hmm. or, or just yeah. ghost. That's yeah. why a lot of them say like in line in lyrics in, in between the lines of, "Oh, I'm not gonna sell my soul." Right. Right. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah, right. and the ones that don't, they go through a lot. And they go through a lot of mental. Have you ever seen mm-hmm. a lot of them break down? Why do you think Kanye yeah. West broke down? Right. right. You know, and they say that he's crazy, he's just a crazy man. Well, he's very, very smart and very intellectual, a beast. Why do you well, think he made it? the same thing happened with Martin Lawrence. It happened, they said that he was losing his mind. I have an ice tea. A lot of stuff that he was fighting over, yeah. you know, at William. And they said they wasn't doing all of that, you know, yeah. sleeping with men and all these things to get roles. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and one thing... I, people going to get mad at me for this, but it's say true. It, I, say I, it. No. Listen, one thing is true That's that going to be a new people, thing right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Say it. Say it. <laughs> but people like, okay, so they see, oh, I want this fame. And people will do anything to get it. And people yep. don't realize, even though people don't really talk about it, there's secret societies in the industry. Yes, there is. That basically have you like traffic children or do yes. awful things like that in order to maintain your fame. Yeah. And people will do anything to maintain, to maintain it. Yes, and it's will. crazy. That's just selling yeah. your soul. Yeah. That's when that comes out. So yeah. it's kind of hard to identify Prince. I guess the secret messages and subliminal stuff, that's how you be able to acknowledge. But it happens, guys. So oh, don't yeah. be naive. Yeah. And a lot of my friends that actually went into the game, they left. Because they were told that they had to change their image, had to change the way they speak, and mm-hmm. how they carry themselves. And there yeah. was three. A woman and two males, and I forget them. So big shout wow. to DB, because DB went against that. So big shout to him as an artist, and also Jessica Baker. Big shout out to her. Because when they sent them out to Hollywood or or Kentucky or you know where the music industry is, they try to form them into changing and right. they refuse to wow and so they walked out independent is also the way to go. For them. and they're still doing their thing independently wise independent is yeah. the way to go now and, and apparently true. because you have the freedom yeah and and you have control and tiktok like, the thing is that, viral TikTok, the thing is that corporations and i, I know we got to end quick but just yeah. real yeah, we quick. got three minutes left for the show ends yeah right. already okay. Okay. <laughs> last thing last thing the thing is that corporations have big time money to market and independence I know, yeah. but yeah. now sh- we do time. have the power to market with social media. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but I know. It's, not, it doesn't compare. it's not the same. It's I get it. Same. Well, guess what? Us independent is going to make it real because right now Peace Let's on go. the Streets is independent. That's We've been right, independent for three guys. years. Three Stella Awards, best radio show, best radio personalities. It can happen. Peace That's on the Streets. Right. Yes. It's going to happen. Amen. Hey. So Let's give, out, give me your shout outs, guys. Say goodbye, Edwin. Um, Once again, thank y'all. I'm Edwin. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, George Michael, Sports Talk, you already know, Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Peace on the Streets Radio, we out! Wow. Hey. And you guys already know the saddest thing is wasted talent. Don't waste the gift that God has given you. Hallelujah. Go full force, never let fear or intimidation stop you. Buenas noches, Orlando. Yeah, bona needs to you too, me, me. <laughs> you guys, we'll be back all again next week from 9 to 12. <laughs> we appreciate He's you all for listening in. Yeah. We want to thank WOKB Ow. for allowing us to do what we Come do on. right here on Peace on the Street. Woo. We see you next week, you guys. We want to thank all our guests, uh, Rochelle Smith, for coming in. Well, wealthy, wealthy Wednesday. Wealthy Wednesday. And we want to thank Miss Angela giving us all the updates on Miss International World. Right. We want to give a shout out also to our production, Enyo, in the building. We appreciate all of you. If it wasn't for you guys in the building making this happen, we want to be here. And for the audience, we love you. Thank you so much for being great supporters of Peace on the Street. This is our last song. Peace. We, get out of here. we love you guys. Ciao. Woo! <laughs>